My resources are limited, but my ambitions are not. I have no signups, no paid users, no traffic. Have no gas, no money, no job, no food, no water, no bitches, no goals, no confidence, no motivation, no future, no social life, no friends, no will to live. It is very difficult trying to figure this out on your own, but this is the stack I used to create my first SaaS application. For the uninitiated, hello, my name is Chisom, and I made my first SaaS application. It's one of those AI apps, I know. The app is called Power to the Creator, the ultimate AI tool for content creators. In the beginning, you're probably not gonna have any users. But when you finally get that first user, which is often your mom, you would like them to feel like the app had some level of authentication. For this, I use Clerk. Because I was optimizing for speed, Clerk was the easiest way to do so. All you need to do is install your packages, set up your environment variables, wrap your application in the next provider tags, create a middleware.tsx page that requires authentication for users. Finally, you can use their pre-built components for your login page, sign-up page, user profile page, and user buttons. Even though all the pages you need are already provided as templates, Clerk allows you to customize those pages. Clerk allows you to use social media for authentication. You can also use your username and password. And if you're like me, I would prefer not to store passwords. Clerk allows you to use one-time password authentication. Also, Clerk allows you to easily integrate your external database. And for someone who is building the application for the first time, Clerk is a wonderful place to go. However, I do have some complaints. Don't worry, I always come with some complaints. When I finally got some users, yes I did, I got some, I lied. It was difficult to actually export their emails to send them emails. So Clerk allows you to get the initial sign-up email, but if I wanted to send them some emails or so updates for the application, it was very difficult to do so. Clerk has an API that allows you to do so, but when I ran that API, unless I'm doing this wrong, it actually didn't give me the correct number of emails. And something like that should be very easy to do because we need those emails for our mailing lists. I think Clerk is the perfect option for someone indie hacking because most applications never actually get users. So you're trying to optimize for speed so you can actually get some users. But if you finally get users, on the free plan, Clerk allows for up to 5,000 unique monthly active users. I am a super base, super fan, super fanatic, super crazy user, super everything. I come from an infrastructure and an ops background. I know how difficult it can be to maintain databases, and I love how easy it is to stand up, set up, maintain, edit, use your database using Superbase. Like, if I had money, I would invest in Superbase because it's just been an incredibly wonderful product to use. For my application, I use the basic Postgres database with Superbase. Superbase authentication is easy to use, their API is updated, and it's intuitive. They also have a pretty active Discord where you can ask questions and get help. However, if I were to complain about one thing, because I'm fair, I felt like authentication with Superbase could be a little easier. But that is my only complaint. If I probably had more time, or if this wasn't my first application, I'll probably have figured out how to use Superbase for authentication. However, for my database, for my backend storage, for even my vector storage, Superbase has been a wonderful tool to use. Setting up Superbase is really easy. All you need to do is install your packages, set your environment variables, and then create your Superbase client. To actually build the application, I just used Next.js, specifically Next13, and the app router setup. Why did I do everything this way? Because I wanted to use a tool that I felt like had a robust and growing community and had a lot of recent and updated documentation. However, if I am being honest, I do not think I use it as well as I should because I ended up adding use client to the top of every file, which is probably not how you're meant to use it. Actually, I lied. I use Next13 because that's what all the nerds on Twitter were talking about. And all you need to do is run a simple command and click yes on everything. Don't read it, just say yes, 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 yes. And you have a Next application. When I finally get some money, I am going to become a sugar mama, I mean sponsor, for NextUI. If you're using Next.js, NextUI is a simple tool for you to have components that you need for your application. It gives you all the basic components and it's built using Tailwind CSS. So in any way it lacks or you want to make some improvements or changes, you can easily do so using Tailwind CSS. Since it's built using Tailwind CSS, all you need to do is first install Tailwind CSS, then you would need to install NextUI and Framer Motion. 
you would then need to update your tailwind.config.js file with a path to your newly installed packages. Lastly, you need to add the next UI provider tags to the root of your application. For hosting, I host my app on AWS across multiple Kubernetes clusters, spanning multiple countries and availability zones. Just in case a tsunami wipes out the entire Virginia and takes out US East 1, my service will still be up and running. I'm joking, I just use Vercel. 